Hi. Okay. I had the question from someone in my um, from someone in my Facebook group, the Love Tribe, saying, "So many dating coaches out there talk about the importance of triggering a man's so-called hero instinct, and frankly, they make it sound as though if women don't master these techniques, they're doomed to failure in their love lives." Could you please give us your thoughts on this? Okay. So, yes, of course. Um, uh, triggering a man's hero instinct is a fabulous, wonderful thing. However, the only problem with trying to do it or having techniques to do it is it becomes a strategy. So let's go back to masculine and feminine energy. Okay, so heroic energy is about action. It's about giving. It's a masculine energy action. Strategy, planning, organizing, having techniques and tricks to and strategies to get someone to do something is all masculine energy. So that it's gonna get it's gonna be exhausting for you if you are trying to make something happen with a man, if you're trying to trigger something in him. Okay, so if if hero energy is masculine energy and you are wanting a masculine energy partner in your life. Being in your feminine energy is what is going to, if your man is capable of, of stepping up into hero energy, um, if he, in his hero instinct, if he wants to do that for you, then your best shot at that is for you to be in your feminine energy. And feminine energy is about being receptive. It's about feeling. It's about being rather than thinking. Sorry, rather than thinking, it's about feeling. Rather than doing, it's about being. And receiving. And it's about intuition. And it's about breathing out. OK, so it can often feel like you're not doing enough. Now, yes, being in your feminine energy is what will give you the best shot of having a man, man step into his masculine hero instinct, if you want to call it that. However, I'm really, really against having any kind of strategy to make something like that happen, because I don't think long term that works. Being in your feminine energy is about you and about how it feels for you. As a woman, I was a very masculine energy woman. I found it very hard to feel. I found it very hard to let go of control. But actually, being in your feminine energy feels really good. It feels like a complete relief. You don't have to try. You don't have to make anything happen. It's sensual. It's sensory. So my answer to that, how to get a man to step into his, his hero instinct, he will if he's going to, and the best shot you can have of attracting that is just by living your life in your feminine energy, expressing your feelings. Not drama. Occasionally we get dramatic, but really expressing I'm feeling sad and allowing yourself to feel them. I mean, I have so many tools I teach about how to just really feel what you're feeling. A simple one I'll give you now. You know, just put your hand on the table. Put your hand on the couch. Put your hand on whatever is solid around you and just feel it. And just feel the texture of the whatever it is under your hand. Does it feel warm? Does it feel cool? Does it feel soft? Notice if you're thinking anything. Notice just how it feels just to be feeling the texture of the wood or the fabric or whatever it is under your hand. That is feminine energy. It's also called mindfulness. It's many things. But that's about being in your feminine energy. So whether you're in a same sex relationship, whether you're in a heterosexual relationship, if you are wanting a masculine energy partner, you're going to need to be in your feminine energy. You know, the masculine energy wants to be the hero, wants to be the knight in shining armor. But if we are in our masculine energy, we, we are not allowing the other part, the, our partner to do that for us. It's like 
if there's one pair of trousers in the relationship, one metaphorical pair of trousers and one metaphorical skirt, then you need to decide which you're going to wear. And if you're going to wear the trousers, he can't wear them. And I don't know how good your man looks in a skirt and how good you feel in the relationship trousers. So if you want him to wear those relationship trousers, be all heroic in his Levi's, then you need to be in the feminine energy. And you can still do that in jeans, but it's a metaphor. So that's really what it's about. That's how you do it. But don't have an agenda about it. Don't have an agenda that you're going to get your man into his hero instinct and I'm just going to do this, this and this and then he's going to do it. No, you live your life in your feminine energy because it feels damn good. It feels damn good for you to do that. And the beautiful results you will have in your life is that the men around you will become like heroes to you. They will want to help you. Probably just because you're letting them. They probably wanted to all along. So I hope that's helped. I hope that's answered the question and loads of love to you all. Mwah.